give me that. Uh, take that. I'm right back. Let me have a little fun with your Kit Kat. Play you like that. Uh, look back. Get your tongue out on, but you cute that. Can't have a real nigga behind me in the bed I'm cool. I'll be chilling. Somewhere in the world handling business. Then I get around you and catch feelings. Sexual healing. Blame your feelings. Where you at? See you at. What it do, what it do, it's Mochi, Crazy Music Entertainment, you watching KME TV, let's get it in. Now, today's topic, I really want to talk about performance platforms. Um, I always had like mixed, I don't want to say always, but it came to a point where I had like mixed feelings about uh, performance platforms, um, open mics, um, should I be paying to perform on some of these platforms and and different things of that nature, you feel me? And hell, even what to do, you know what I'm saying? I think our expectations for some of these platforms uh, sometimes is either unrealistic or we ain't really game planning, right? So let's let's kind of hop into it. Um, I'm gonna give a little backstory, uh, a little bit. Um, when I was younger, uh, coming up in uh, you know in music and live performances and stuff like that, you know, you know, you had to pay for some of the open mics. Some of them were free. But but some of them you had to pay for. I think way back when one of my highest ones paying I paid for was like a hundred dollars, and it was like to open up for gunplay on New Year's uh, or New Year's Eve or however it went. And uh, and like I think this was my my breaking point, right? Where it was like I go there, I'm thinking it's exclusive. You pay a hundred, you know what I'm saying? Do with like when like five people perform in front of gunplay but it turned out to be an open mic and and it was like a, a building i want to say full but but it was people there the only people there was the performers right so dj was like oh if you perform tonight you know saying come to the stage i mean i i feel like literally everybody in the building went to the stage you look if we all on the stage you look back it's probably about Maybe seven, seven people, maybe ten. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give it ten. It was probably about ten people of all these people brought somebody, at least one person, right? So it was probably about ten people left in the crowd, you know. And I was like, damn, okay. So what? All of us paid a hundred dollars. I mean, they just got paid strictly off us. Now I wasn't thinking they just got paid strictly off us. I'm looking like they yeah, just paid a hundred dollars to perform in front of. You know, saying competitors in a sense, or, or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and then on top of that, uh, gunplay never showed up. You know what I'm saying? Gunplay never showed. We stayed to the end. Gunplay never showed up, right? So it was just like, I think after that point, you know what I'm saying? That was kind of like my breaking point because a lot of times, like, you know, when we paying for stuff with music, you know what I'm saying? Like, like as an independent artist and, and just artists coming up, period. Like, like a lot of people we paying, they don't know where this money coming from. Some of y'all out there slanging, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, doing what you got to do the rest of your life to get money. Then you pour it into music. Some of you got, you know what I'm saying? Out of five different things, however. I mean, however you get your money is how you get your money. But, you know what I'm saying? You can be down your last. And it's like you believe in what you're doing, so you give it up. You know what I'm saying? For the opportunity to be able to perform in, in, in front of people. And then, not only that, they want you to pay for it. And then, you know, be a promoter, too. You know what I'm saying? This is this is these are problems I had coming up. Where it was like, you know, damn, I gotta pay for this, and I gotta turn around and be the promoter. But I'm talking to the promoter, I'm paying the promoter. You feel me? But I still gotta promote this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the artist's job really is it, probably to me the lowest totem of of of, 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 of the music. You know what I'm saying? Until you become, I guess, a name. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you paying everybody. You have to find the money some kind of way to pay everybody and make your strategies, movements, how you do it to become this success. You know, that's, you know, for one. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like when, when I started feeling when it came to the, uh, the platform, it was like, man, it's a hustle. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, they, or they want you to bring 
X amount of people for maybe a cent here. Maybe you get a hundred dollars, or you get paid if you bring this amount of people. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, so but you got to pay to get on the show. Then I guess they give you money back for how many people you bring. All this shit is a hustle to me. I just feel like, you know, to me, if you consider yourself the promoter, then you need to have you a promotion team to make sure people get in that building for the artist, especially if the artist is paying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you have X amount of artists in that motherfucker or, 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 or signing up to, to, to your platform, you feel me? And they ain't enough money for you guys to go make this situation work and get people in that door. Then, and, and, and then that's how you get the money too. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't like we getting paid, like, like it's an investment into the, the actual event. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just want to want get, to get some of these emotional things out of me first. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, I'm paying you. So I mean, I have a, a stake in the event to where when all these people that I bring, he bring, whoever bring, I get some kind of incentive back. Like I, I really was a part of this situation. That's not really the case, right? So you get the money from me. You get the money from the people that come in. You know, so you might throw me a hundred dollars or something for, for for bringing ten people or however you go. Really, you know what I'm saying? And then I gotta get up there and I gotta give my best performance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, especially if you last, at least that's how I used to be when I was coming up. Sometimes still today, you know what I'm saying? It'd be nice when everybody stay. You know what I'm saying? But I understand people be having to leave. These shits be lasting late sometimes, you know. So by the time you did, you only performed in front of the people you brought. I just recently did a show where I was literally the only one that brought somebody to the show. I mean, I brought like five people, you know what I'm saying? And literally I performed only in front of them. And then I paid, I paid to, to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't mind because I was supporting the hustle of someone coming up trying to do their own show. Cause I, I believe in that because I have put together my own show as well. And I would like to continue, right? So I'm showing love. Boom, all right, boom. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, I, I'm gonna get to that. I, I don't want to get too too far over, but you know what I'm saying? Show of love. I'm down. Only people I performed in front of was people that came here. We all perform in front of the people I, I brought, right? So you know what I'm saying? So it just be like that. As a promoter, you gotta make sure them people get in that door. You know what I'm saying? Period. Uh, if these people paying and coming in, to me, the promoter job. Your title is promoter. And that's your job. Artists should not have to have that have that on them to do you know what i'm saying now if they can do that and they promoting it too and they bringing their fans of course they need to tell their fans that yeah 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 yeah, i'm gonna be here whatever whatever but other than that as a promoter of the event to me that's your job it's our job to come there and put together a show for that event you know what i'm saying be ready you know what i'm saying be able to come with some kind of excitement something to put on the show for the people so if we ain't doing that, then we ain't doing our job. You know what I'm saying? That's fair to me. Now, on the, on the other hand, you feel me? And, and this is what I, I kind of understand now to get more out of your event and your show is uh, as an artist. And I heard this when I was younger, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Not letting anybody else off the hook. But it's just as an artist to get more bang out your buck. You got to make every situation, every event, every opportunity yours. All right. Whether you come in there with the merch. You come in there with cameras. You come in there with a whole full going show dancers, whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? You come in there like you are the headliner of this situation. You know what I'm saying? Whoever in there, you connect with them. You, uh, right now, now today is really highly instant, uh, you know, on social media. So you want to connect through social medias, whether you handle them some, you're on your phone with it, boom, 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 boom. You're sharing your music, you know, you, you wearing your merch, your outfits or whatever it is, you're selling merch. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just getting people within your, within your pipeline, however away, you feel me? And, and if you got the camera crew, you creating content, you creating a whole concert, you shooting videos, you know what I'm saying? You connecting with people like now it's like 
So, so if you pay a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or twenty dollars or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? To me, you know, that that is an opportunity for you. Like, fuck what the hell they got on. I mean, got going on. You know what I'm saying? Hell, hell. Even if you don't bring nobody and nobody else come, that's a platform for you to to create a content that you can post up and, and, and kind of gain that momentum of. Oh man, this person is doing this. This person's doing that. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's where you start getting more bang for your buck or or more bang out of the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, you getting your reps in. You performing. You getting your reps in. You able to look back at what you did, how, how you look. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can perfect um, your movements and your performance and all these different things. So 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 so, so it becomes a value instead of saying I'm gonna go perform here and in hopes that somebody recognizes me uh to make me a star or you know what I'm saying I get to perform in X amount of people and fans and they're gonna go crazy about my music. Um I mean yeah but you're selling yourself short. And this is the now me thinking like and looking at it as the game plan. And, and also recently, uh, the cameraman I work with, you know, he really put in my head, don't even worry about people coming. He was like, don't even worry about letting motherfuckers know that you performed, right? You know what I mean? You could, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's not the game plan right now. The game plan is to catch you in action. That's it. To build the, the momentum and the look and, and so we can sell the shit, right? So it was like, boom, okay, boom, because I already had a few plays in motion, but now, you know what I'm saying, now I got a cameraman that gets to catch me in action of performing, and I can really piece my movement together, you know what I'm saying, way better than i ever been able to, because now I got more visuals, right? So, and, 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 and also, too, what was the play? Cause I just performed in Cali, right? I ain't recorded. I ain't had no video, man. None of that. So it's like it happened. It felt like I did really well. You know what I'm saying? People connected with me. You know what I'm saying? They told me how good I did. That was great. You feel me? But now that it's over, it's like I never did it. You know, I don't have no footage to show none of my fans. No nothing. You feel me? So it's like, ah, Cali. Like I gotta I gotta get back to Cali. I don't know when I'm going back to Cali. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to touch on that. When you doing these platforms, you gotta get more bang for your buck. Whether you're paying for it or it's free, you know what I'm saying? Number one, you're getting your reps. Number two, you get to create content. Number three, you get to showcase your merch, possibly even sell merch. And you know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Probably can get some money out of the situation because you're selling yourself, right? You get to possibly come up on some new fans, people that's gonna follow you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Even people that, that can be collaborators and stuff like that to help build the brand. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, I think I said four, uh, exposure. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Let's just throw exposure in there. You feel me? Because you don't know who else is watching. It might be an A&R in that thing. It might be somebody that can help take your career to, to, to the next level. But to me, that's not the focal point, really. It's all these right here. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's coming to take your career to the next level. I mean, to me, I mean, yeah, it, you know what I'm saying? It could be, but we ain't worried about that because with, with these right here, we finna build our own way. We ain't worrying about nobody finna take us to the next level. We got this. We gonna make them want, want, want us. They, they, they gonna wanna uh, hunt us down. You feel me? So that's why I feel like, you know, when it comes to you as an artist, forget these other people. You know what I'm saying? It's about you in the moment. You set up your play. You have a game plan for the situation. And you run that play the best way you can. And you get as much out of the situation that you can. You feel me? You make it more valuable for self. You know? Now, don't get me wrong. Back to them promoting all that. To me, it's their job. If they throw an event and all this here and they asking for money and all that there. And ain't nobody in there but your people. Something ain't right with that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. You know, you as an artist and you as a, a business entity, your LLC yourself, you know what I'm saying? A walking LLC, you know what I'm saying? You you got to make sure you get as much out of this for you and your brand. You feel me? So, yeah, that's all I'm going to speak on when it comes to platforms. This is strictly about performance platforms, open mics and different things like that. My past experiences and where I'm at mentally now, 
Now I don't mind going to jump on them stages because now I have a game plan or I have purpose to being inside the, the venue. I have an album coming out, which is Born Day and all these things I need to market, a new single, uh, which is grown for me, which is uh, We Grown that I'm marketing to lead up to the to the big debut of the album. So I have purpose to be there and and now I'm just trying to work my game plans with with the tools that I have. You feel me? Not worrying about what I don't have, which is maybe the whole big crowd. I might not have a crowd. Sometimes it is a crowd. But I do have a cameraman. I do have myself. I do have merch. I do have uh cars and, and things to pass out with the QRC codes. So you can lock in and follow me and all these things. I have my phone. You know what I'm saying? We connecting. We moving. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Getting some, some other kind of content. Whatever it is we got to do. You feel me? So make it valuable for you. You feel me? So crazy music entertainment. I'm Motri. I'm signing out. Tap back into KME TV. We doing this. I'm going to try and drop some every, every, every day. If not every other day. But I'm going to try to lock in on every day. So yeah. I'm signing out. Stay tuned. For the debut album coming January 19th. Oh, shit, I done said it. February. I mean, I done said it. January 19th is the drop of Born Day. All right? And y'all stay tuned for the cover art. Just received it. The shit is hot. Let's get it popping. You feel me? So, stay tuned. And we grown. Screaming on all platforms right now. Go stream it. Go buy it. Download it. Whatever it is. Support your boy. It's on it popping. Moji, Crazy Music Entertainment. Let's go.